The Italian city of Florence is a center of arts and culture. It's also home to papermaking traditions that date back centuries. From sheets and cards to book pages and binders, handmade Florentine paper can still be found in a few places here. This paper is now called Florentine paper, uh, even if the uh, correct uh, origin is marbled paper. It's a very old technique of decorating paper, but it was used a lot in uh, Florence uh, in a book binding process mostly. So always related to books and printing. Maria co-owns Giulio Giannini e Filio, a family business now in its sixth generation. It's Florence's oldest marble papermaker and one of the few places where it's still handmade. Maria also holds workshops on how to make marble paper. I am going to, to make it to prepare the, the marble paper. So, and I'm just spreading some colors onto this jelly thing, gelatin, and step by step, I will create a pattern and uh, at the end I will lay the paper onto and you'll see what the paper, so the, how the paper is decorated. The process is intricate and time-consuming with lots of attention paid to detail. From start to finish, Maria needs about 20 minutes to make one sheet of paper. For each new sheet, she has to repeat the entire process using new colors. The end result is always unique. This is quite different from the machine printed paper, which has largely taken over. Here at the Rossi Paper Making Factory, the company also specializes in Florentine designs, but they've been using machines to print their paper since 1931. In this factory, we print with uh, old machines as well, but uh, using uh, old machines since uh, last century, but renewed with uh, new technologies. This uh, printing machine uh, can produce uh, up to 1,000, 1,500 sheets per hour. The process wasn't always so fast. This original press from the late 19th century could only print certain items one at a time. This is the uh, first machine and uh, the beginning of this company. Uh, my grandfather Antonio will start with this press, printing some uh, cards, uh, putting the paper here and the ink in this place. Floral patterns and the use of striking colors, including gold, are characteristic of Florentine decorative paper. Its substantial weight makes it good for binding books, creating stationery, and covering boxes. These items are popular with both tourists and locals alike. Marbled paper is said to have originated in Japan around the 12th century. It came to Europe during the 16th and 17th centuries and was used for important documents as a way of preventing forgeries and erasure. Today it's popular as a gift. People are looking for something that it's handmade and it's unique. It's, it's just one of a kind. And uh, they can have inspiration you know, for you know, colors or the uniqueness of a piece of paper. The techniques for making decorative Florentine paper may continue to evolve, but the patterns remain steeped in history and tradition.